All right, guys, here we are on ESV Cloud Kingdom and up at the top right part of the map in the green. Winner of our last game from the team Empire, it is Koss. And down at the bottom left part of the map in the blue from the team Slayers, another talented Protoss player, it is Puzzle, formerly of uh, Zenex, actually, and then he joined Slayers. Wearing the tag combat easy. Yep. So that's right, I huh. don't know. Huh. They uh, they know they know the memes. Thing. They know the community over here. They know the scenes. So that's right. Could so. be a reference. Could be. Yes, I'm I'm imagining it is. Makes me giggle. Uh, well, now let's see how this is going to play out. This is a great Protoss map, if we're honest. Um, as as a good choice from Puzzle, of course. We looked at win rates yesterday after the match. You know, we mentioned we had a map. It was let's see, it was between Straylock. And uh, I forgot who the player was for Enesosa at the time, but uh, it was a PVT. And Straylock like, tried, you know, that not a style push to open up with a few Banshees, wasn't able to get a lot of damage, and then moved into Siege Tanks after that. Mm -hmm. um, but we did see what the win rate is for Protoss. It is extremely high in this matchup, just because of the way two base Colossus pushes can work here. Oh, really, yeah. the way any sort of uh, decent mid game push can work here. Yeah, then that's not really surprising at all. I mean, if you look at the layout of it, fairly safe natural, fairly safe third too, but more importantly, just a, a sort of level ground you can kind of come in from from the side for the uh, natural expansion, which can make that Colossus play good. Not to mention Colossi can kind of fire from the high or from the low ground onto the high ground That's rather right. and give vision to your units too. So Colossus play does work quite well. Um, Puzzle is a type of player that has a lot of different builds in his repertoire, if you will. Yeah. So we could see some quicker Templar, but just in general, robotics play seems to be what Protoss has wanted to do on this map. And uh, looks like Puzzle is going to go after what his teammate did and decide to Nexus first. So we'll yeah. see if, like his teammate, he decides to put a Forge down after this. There's 150, and that's a gateway. So yeah. it's, it's a little more predictable uh, build from Protoss players recently, but uh, it would have been cool to see that Forge fast expand one more time. Well, I'm really curious to uh, see some other games with Crank trying that out because I feel like there is a, a potential for Forge Expand to be, you know, come part of the standard in PVT at the highest level of StarCraft II. But at the same time, I feel like it's it's still very much in its infancy, right? I mean, the build that uh, Crank, uh, Crank did last game just didn't really work terribly well. I mean, it seemed like his tech got started a little bit late. Um, that push that he decided to do was scouted fairly easily and didn't really do any damage. I mean, yeah, he made a mistake with that one push with the Zealots and Sentries where he just kind of let everything die, but yeah. overall, I feel like there's still a lot more fine-tuning that needs to be done before we see a lot more of that Forge expand in Protoss versus Terran. And looks like Puzzle did decide to double gas into Cybernetic Score right afterwards, so things looking pretty normal for him. Koss, on the other hand, did decide to put up a second barracks and go into double gas afterwards. This one barracks into uh, expansion into second barracks and then double gas was something that was popularized by, um, I was about to say Mouse Thorzane, it was EG Thorzane now. Yeah, uh, well he was Mouse Thorzane at the time, you can say that. That's right. right. That uh, works. Why not? Guy who we might actually see is, uh, actually, I believe our first Team Rated Challenge match next week, this will be on Tuesday, is going to be EG versus MVP. I'm yeah. looking forward to that one. Yeah, man, that'll be a good match for sure. Well, let's see here now as uh, Kass does have his first add-ons being produced. It looks like it's a reactor for now, bypassing that uh, tech lab for a while. There we go. There it does drop down. Yep. Almost the exact time I... Oh, yeah. Generally, when you're there. doing this sort of build, it's it's a much safer to get the reactor first if you're going to go for any sort of add-ons, just because then you're going to have you know more Marines out, right? Um, the possibility of a Void Ray all-in or some sort of airplay is there. It's not very likely anymore in StarCraft 2 and on this map, but it's generally just plain safer to get the reactor first. But it is a little bit surprising, though, to see Koss kind of go for this. I mean, you generally these days see a lot of Terran players put down three barracks before they really start to put any add-ons in. So Koss playing things a little bit different. Well, it offers Typing you... Typing crazily. Yeah, no kidding. It offers you a lot of flexibility is what it does. So Koss um, decides to go for the kind of the select style out of this. Two barracks and factory into medevacs very quickly. Yep. Um, if you want to, though, you can drop down a third barracks and reinvest back in upgrades. You can go engineering bay. You can go two barracks uh, ghost push right at the beginning of the game. So it's a very flexible opening. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good, it's solid. The thing that this opening really needs to kind of worry about usually is Dark Templar. Uh, those can do quite well because if you don't have any scans saved up, you're just going to lose a lot from it. But uh, that's relatively rare, so that's why we still see plenty of Terrans do that. 
Um, but the big thing is, is this build wow. is designed to do damage when Stim comes up, right? It's designed to usually pressure the natural while dropping the main. Um, and so the question is, you know, will Puzzle have the units he needs to get that accomplished, to get that defended when that push comes? Well, Puzzle is actually going for an incredibly greedy build. If you remember, oh, yeah. he decided to open with Nexus first then goes into his uh, gateway right afterwards, then into Robo, then double Forge, and he's produced two Observers on the field right now. He's got two Zealots, one Stalker, two Sentries at the wow. eight-minute mark. That's it for attack units. His opponent would be able to overwhelm him if miraculously decided to move out this instant. Well. But that being said, if, uh, you know, this delays for just another couple of minutes as we see a Twilight Council coming down now, these units are going to be so powerful, it's going to be incredibly difficult for Kass to get damage done. Well, here's the thing is that he's moving out with that uh, two medevac plus one, or two medevac stim timing, rather, which is the timing that you want to do generally with this build. And this could potentially do a lot of damage. Puzzle is going to need to warp in a lot of units soon to survive this. And he still just has one gateway. That's right. Three more are just about to finish up. I should say two of those three are about to finish up. Third is on the way, but only about a third of the way done. 1-1 uh, one, one upgrade still about 60 seconds off, and it's going to be a bit before those finish. Now, if cost delays, basically if cost delays long enough for an Immortal to come up, three gateways to be utilized, and 1-1 one, one upgrades to finish up, totally changes to this, and I think he may just lose the engagement. But if he's able to push right this second, he may be able to do so. Oh! oh the probe sees it, though. Puzzle knows he does does, and he's going to move back all of his units right this second. Yeah, is he going to be able to drop in time? It's going to be so close, but it looks like the units for Koss are going to get out in time. Does he have enough damage? Oh, he actually pulls away. Wow. Wow. All right. I thought he could maybe try to stay and fight that. Um, I honestly thought he might have been able to win that fight or at least trade fairly evenly, you know, kill off the Immortal and the sentries and then go and keep his medevacs alive, but sure. Koss just not even wanting to risk it, just playing really, really safe. And now, as I kind of alluded to before, that moment has kind of passed. We see a few more or two more gateways being added, so six gate robo for now. These immortals uh, are going to be incredibly powerful. He's sitting on 1-1 one, one upgrades, uh, and combat shields isn't even done for Koss. In fact, he's not sitting on any of those conventional weapons or armor upgrades, mm -hmm. so... Um, Wow, I mean, Puzzle's going to be able to do a ton of damage with an attack here in a second if he wants to. Yeah, we'll see if he does want to or not. Uh, third base being taken by Koss as well, and he didn't really lose anything out of that push. He lost like two Marines, I think, so he's still in perfectly fine place. Yeah, we'll see what Puzzle wants to do to follow this up. There is, of course, that robotics bay coming down and investing in those upgrades so much earlier on. Playing that more Creator Prime style, uh, he probably is going to take a third base. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's a third base coming up. That is a third base coming up, definitely. So here's the thing with uh, with Koss right now is that, oh, look at that, blink down. Wow, that was... Boom, executed. No kidding, jeez. That uh, Koss can continue to be a little bit aggressive. And uh, here's what I was wondering, if he's going to get that Ghost Academy now or not. If I were Koss, and yeah, I saw that there were just a lot of sentries and immortals there, I'd be like, hey, you know what? I know there's probably going to be Colossi coming at this point, but I think I can squeeze into Ghost Academy and maybe get a push in there where EMP is going to be a really big factor. So we might see Koss go for something like that. We'll see. And uh, Koss does have a lot of units on the left-hand side, but he stops that pylon, which was perfectly placed to pick up on any such attack like this. So whether it be drop play or whether it just be an army moving around. So yep. that being said, Puzzle, he does have uh, Thermal Lance and his Colossus coming up. Uh, we're in a similar sort of situation once again where he's got a few key upgrades that are just about to finish as Koss is threatening. And it looks like he uh -oh. is going to go for this. Is it going to get oh, caught man. by this probe, oh, though? Oh, man, the probe. Oh, he's going to miss. Oh, he does. Oh, no, no, no. That's just because he's close enough face. now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, he sees it now. I, this may be a big miscalculation by Koss. We'll have to see if it works out. Well, okay. Well, Koss is uh, also dropping down over at the bottom right hand corner, it looks like, but unfortunately going to lose one of the medevacs full of units. He has, well, uh, he said drop. Huh. That's apparently just three Marines. That's not going to get too much done. Chilling out there, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All right. Another drop to take out that pylon. But overall, that, you know, did, that didn't go very well for Koss at all. He didn't really get. Uh, what he needed to get done, done. Uh, he does have a ghost on the way right now, but he's going to need to start worrying about Vikings as well. So now that he's going to be making Vikings and ghosts, he's going to have a smaller uh, barracks army overall. You know, he's not going to be able to really keep up on that production like he wants to, or maybe I should say he's not going to be able to add on that many more barracks like some other Terran players, you know, would prefer to at this point. So that's going to make his army overall a little bit weaker. So it's going to be something that he's going to need to worry about just a little bit. But um, both players still fairly even up right now. 
Yeah, pretty even at the moment, but a big upgrade advantage for Puzzle still. He's sitting on 2-2. Two, 1-1 two. One, one is actually just done for Koss, and he's only moving over to plus two weapons at the moment. And that's not even going to finish before 3-3 three, three finishes now for Puzzle. So he has an incredibly strong opportunity to hit once those upgrades finish, and yep. he should be maxed right about that point as well. Yep. Uh, Templar Archives being added along with two more gateways for now. And uh, we'll see what Koss can do in response. He's preparing appropriately, has the ghosts in the army, as you mentioned, starting to add those Vikings and making sure that he can play for the late, late game with another base. Yeah, why not? I mean, both of these guys now kind of gearing up for that late game situation. Uh, Puzzle, though, like you said, is going to have that upgrade advantage for a little while here. I like that he's getting the Templar archives as well, just kind of switching over a little bit sooner, trying to get Koss to maybe overmake Vikings just a little bit and I feel like Koss actually will over make Vikings he seems to kind of be very very dedicated to stopping those colossi but he may be in a situation where he's got these units that can land and fight after the Vikings or after the colossi are dead but they're just not upgraded they're not very strong right. so both players right now trying to kind of trick each other a little bit and get every little advantage that they can because they know it's going to come down to that big late game fight so you really need to try to have your composition as efficient as possible you want to have your upgrades and the ability like we're seeing puzzle go for here to remake a lot of units very quickly yeah and he's sitting on 12 gates for now uh, and that's a pretty good number off of three base but going up to four he'll be adding on some more in just a bit uh but you know both players are about maxed uh cost about 12 supply ahead at the moment 11 supply now um, and Puzzle is sitting on 11 more workers. So the army disparity is pretty large, but again, comes back to upgrades. We do see plus two weapons about to finish up for cost, but 3-3 is already finished for Puzzle with plus one armor, uh, I'm sorry, shields on the way. Man, I mean, four Colossi out with Archons. He's gonna have Storm. This is getting to be a very <laughs> scary Protoss army for Puzzle, and Koss is going to need to engage this very, very carefully if he wants to win this game. Um, he's going to need to make sure that he's not caught kind of out in the or uh, at his base, rather. He wants to be out active on the map to try to get a good concave, try to maybe sneak in and get some EMPs before the fight starts. And with him taking that fourth base, I think we're going to see his army move down there a little bit more. Yeah. Um, in fact, there it goes at the moment. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the situation that he's going to need to be in. He can't be the defender in this. You know, he needs to be out there being aggressive on the map to be able to take this army in the best way possible. Well, both players are maxed now. Four more gateways coming down for Puzzle. He'll be on a total of 16. Barracks count for Koss. Let's see here. That's six inside of the main. Seven, eight, nine, ten barracks for him. So a pretty good opportunity to reproduce his units as well. But both players are banking resources. Both players are maxed. Both players are looking for that big engagement. Well, I think we're going to have it here probably at this fourth base very, very soon. Nice scan to pick up that observer. That does help as well, but it looks like he's probably going to lose his factory here. Lose a little bit of his high ground vision and his uh, scouting capabilities. And ability to produce any additional star ports, but he yeah, did yeah, already have too. a second one on the way, yeah. so not the biggest deal in the world. Yeah, two should be plenty. Yeah. So now we see a bunch of high Templar position around in case of uh, drops, things like that. And four Templar, four chain storms are enough to delay a pretty decent sized Terran army and allow the rest of the forces to get back. So yeah. Pretty passive game, no rush 20 kind of feeling to Pretty it. Pretty much a gentleman's game of, of StarCraft 2, it looks like. Some SCVs being sacrificed here just to give them a little bit Aww. more supply for army. Good job, guys. Here's your reward. <laughs> Is Way there to candy? Go. Yes, there's candy. There's candy for everyone. Ah! Get the Templar. Yeah. Bye bye, SCVs. Oh. oh, well, it was a noble sacrifice. So now we're going to see a lot more units being added on for Koss here, and he's going to try to get an army that's big enough to handle what Puzzle has. It's going to be tough. Puzzle's got a ridiculously strong army right now. Yeah, he does. Um, now you're talking about overmaking Vikings. That's a lot of Vikings. There yeah. are five Colossi out, though, and it looks like um, <laughs> they're trading workers a piece as these poor probes are going to run in. Oh, wow, he actually gets away. He doesn't want to die yet. He's too young now to he die. Does. He's like, all right, you can have some probes. Let's yeah. trade. Well, this is uh, going to move into almost super late game army because both these guys are sacrificing a considerable amount of workers. Pretty defensive position in the middle as a couple of photon cannons are coming up as well. Yep, and so we're just kind of waiting. We're waiting for that next big engagement. I mean, they're both getting their upgrades. They're both getting more production facilities. They're doing everything they should, but... 
just neither one wants to be the one to attack. You know, I mean, because, oh, except for here we go. Now the army's meeting in the middle. Oh, wow. A lot of EMPs actually hitting. Let's take a look at those shields. And the Colossi is sitting in back, though. Uh, four of them still remaining. Now three, now two. They're actually being neutralized very, very quickly. But most of the ground forces went down, and it's these Vikings are a little bit of dead weight. So the uh, war through the air was won by Koss, but the war through the ground was taken by Puzzle. And he's going to move up now and start taking Ooh. out a couple of uh, uh, at least SCVs. We'll see if he's able to get a planetary fortress. Actually getting very very, very low, and he's going to pick off some Vikings in the meantime as well. Yeah, I don't feel like... Oh, he does get it. Wow, I'm surprised, actually. I didn't think it'd be a good time for him to attack the planetary, but he makes it work out, and that is just a huge win for Slayer's Puzzle. He's ahead on supply right now, but more importantly, he's ahead on bases, and he's going to be able to use all those production facilities that he made. And El Cas has a big bank built up, but that's only going to get him so far. And unfortunately for Koss, yeah, you mentioned that bank. He didn't have the barracks infrastructure there to reproduce everything right yeah. away. So he has so many unused resources. And uh, unfortunately, down by 50 supply at the moment, losing this planetary fortress as well. It's getting very low. There it goes oh. down. When that falls, command centers are just going to fall one after another. These forces getting so low. Koss GG's puzzle put Slayers just one game away from moving into winner's round three. Yeah, I mean, this is Slayer's puzzle we're talking about. He won Code A a couple seasons ago. He's been really